Yo, welcome to the Lockdown Center. I am your host, Lock and Load. We're coming with you another sad, sad news in the gaming industry. Nick Merce. Nick Merce is a cool dude. I like his content. I like the way he voices opinion, which is a lot of streamers don't want to voice their opinion because they'll say, Oh, my channel, well, I'm going to get demonetized. So people going this and that, it'll take my revenue away. Nick ain't scared to say none of that. None of it. Let's go, Nick. But y'all know why he was in the news last time. Because he said, leave the kids alone. That's all he said. They took his his little man from uh, Call of Duty and everything. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. But let's see why he's in here now. Let's check it out. We got the video. We're going to get some comments on it and my thoughts on how this gaming industry is going. Let's watch the video. <laughs> Nick, the trans folk struggling against the trans game. There's no such thing as trans people. That's something that you created. So have fun with your little dreamland. But that shit's not even real. They break it down for you, right? Penis? Dude. Vagina? Girl. Done. Come in here with that. Now, I know this is a touchy subject, but you know what? People have to talk things out. You know, that's all Nick said. All Nick said. He explained that a tallywhacker belongs to a man and a peach belongs to a woman. I know for a fact, and it's written, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Come on now. Whatever you want to do or be named as, that's fine. We don't care. I don't care. Just don't push that agenda up on me and my family. That's all. Now let's see another clip. Nick explaining, which he shouldn't have to do, explaining himself. Let's check it out. People that disagree and people that agree, I don't care about the percentages or the cuts or whatever. I, I, it doesn't bother me. You know, I, I feel a certain way about all that. And I've said my piece and I will remind these fucking people that, again, the little dream fantasy bullshit that they're living in is not real life. And not everybody has to dance to their tune. That's not how that works. You don't get to go around and point your finger in people's chests and say, hey, you live in my world. You think the way that I think. You believe the way that I believe. No, no, no. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. It, it, it never has been and it never will be. So if you guys want to live like that, go ahead. Do, do what you want to do. Not me. And I don't need people to agree with me. I don't need no echo chamber bullshit. This is the way that my wife and I feel. This is the way that my family feels. The people that are closest to me. And we're going to speak our fucking peace. And that's it. And to show proof of this. And to show proof of this. Y'all seen it. They just recently, like what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Put some, some camos in COD. These camos, bro. Oh my God. I had to ask my daughter. I was like, hey, bro, did you see those those camos they put in there? They, they're pretty cool. She was like, uh, yeah, dad, those are uh, for uh, the LG. Um, community. I don't even know. Listen, I, I'm concerned I am about this shit. I don't even know the, the, the lingo or what do they call themselves. So she came in, she explained to me what they were. And I'm like, uh, are you serious? Really? No, bottom line is, um, I don't want my son or my daughter to be learning about them at a young age where they don't even, they can't even pay rent. They can't even pay bills. They can't make decisions to go to bed or wake up. We make the decisions like that as parents. But Activision and all these other games, they're teaching it subliminally with the camos in the game. Kids love bright colors. So what they're going to do is put it in the game so they can brainwash your kids and as subtly as then it becomes the fucking norm. No, no, let me decide, you know, to teach my kid that. And when it's time to teach my kid that, all these big companies are concerned about is the almighty dollar, that money. That's all they want. Let's put a bundle out there so they can buy this and that's, they can buy that and we'll get rich. They don't care what goes on in your household. They don't care if your kid get teased and get called different names. They don't care. They don't care. All they care about is How's our revenue look? Is our bank account fat? Why is it skippy? No, they don't care. And Nick is right. 
he is right. And for all those that are offended about it, that's the thing. People get offended about stuff that needs to be talked about. If you don't talk about something so you can know what this person is thinking and what their thought process is and understanding, nothing will ever get resolved. It's going to be bashing back and forth like two rams banging back and forth. This is a touchy subject. So what? You need to talk about it. So what, you're going to be scared to talk to your kid about sexual education? Are you? No, it has to be talked about. Or you're just going to let them be just, you know, oblivious about anything. Oh, I know you want to shelter your kids and all that kind of stuff. But let us as the parents decide when we want to talk to our kids. Let the kids decide when they get grown and able to take on responsibilities and play games. I mean, uh, and pay bills and things of that nature, pay their own rent and pay their own car note and buy their own food, then they can make the decision if they want to go that route. You see what I'm saying? These games for today is not about gaming. I want to come home and play a video game and get away from stress at work or the bad news outside of people getting killed and things of that nature. Video games are supposed to be for you to have fun, relax, and chill. Not to come to some other drama like this. I said my piece, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you decide to call yourself or be or do, I don't care. It doesn't make you less of a person in my eyes. As long as you don't bring that stuff to me, I'm cool. You see what I'm saying? I don't care what you do. And a lot of people are scared to say that because they're scared to lose their money or the revenue on their channel or their channel going to get canceled. You're not saying anything wrong. What happened to the, the, the uh, uh, freedom of speech? You can say what you want. But I'm not threatening anybody. Nick's not threatening anybody. He's just saying, hey, me and my family, this is what we are teaching our children. We don't. He doesn't want that on his channel. Apparently, they keep coming in his channel trolling him about it. If you got to troll somebody and constantly try to power drive your thought process into somebody, that means you have an issue with what, who you really are. We don't care. I don't care. Nick don't care. He's just saying, hey, don't bring that in my channel with that crap. I, I'm, I'm cool with it. I said my piece. Do you. I don't care. Just don't try to come in my channel and disrupt it with the stuff that you are promoting. It's crazy. It's all about the almighty dollar. Activision wanted. it. Hey, y'all can have it. I'm not putting it on my camera. My kids not putting it on their guns and all that kind of stuff. I'm teaching them when I want to teach. This is a lock and load channel. I do what I want on my channel. Guys, you know, rock with me, rock with me. I'm quite sure 100% of y'all agree with what I'm saying. I don't care what people do. But you know what? Thank y'all for listening to my rant. I really appreciate it. Go and support Nick, Nick, Mort, Nick Merce. He's a good guy, man. Support him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't agree with a lot of stuff he do and all that kind of stuff. But when right is right, I'm on his side. You know what I'm saying? I'm on anybody's side. You feel me? So thank y'all for tuning in. Check out the next video that's coming pretty soon. It's your boy Lock and Load. Like and subscribe. Guess what? And we out of here. Peace.